Greetings my good people on YouTube Omini, yes, welcome to another video Today we are in the beautiful city of Bogota, Colombia Yes, the capital of Colombia In this video we will be going to a couple of malls Maybe two, three malls And I uh, will show you how the malls here in Bogota look like And what you can expect in these malls So stay tuned and I'll see you in a bit guys so we went to a drugstore and we bought uh, three bottles of water one of six liters and two of 1.5 liters um, so we can refill the smaller ones and it costs and oh and a pack of Oreo and it costs us around 23,600 pesos I hope you can hear me <laughs> but yes that's what it cost us which is quite cheap I, I think um, I will put the conversion down there okay so guys disclaimer if I say if something is cheap it's because I am comparing it with uh, the prices in Curacao so normally Curacao isn't uh, that cheap you can say because we um, because we import everything so every time I say the price and if I say if it's expensive or cheap it is because I'm comparing it with prices in Curacao there are different ways you can uh, get from point A to point B here in uh, Bogota uh, you can take the bus, you can take a taxi uh, When we were in Cartagena and Medellin The hotel had taxis in front of the hotel So you could pick, just walk into the taxi And uh, go wherever you want to go But you can also make use of transportation apps Such as Uber, Beat and uh, Didi You should know that these apps are basically illegal Still illegal in Colombia but. If you opt to use these uh, transportation apps, you should be a little bit more discreet and uh, they usually make you sit in front. One person should sit in front and the other passengers could sit in the back seat. Now we're going to the Mall Plaza NQS and uh, uh, we'll see you in a bit. The Centro Comercial NQS or Mall NQS is very close to our hotel which was the Tinkendama Suites by Duty Premium, it was about 10 minute driving. I did a review about this hotel, Tinkendama Suites. I will leave the link in the description down below and also will put the link in the top right hand corner. I will be doing more mall tour videos and the purpose, the idea behind these videos is that uh, when I was doing some research about uh, the malls in Bogota, I didn't find many videos and, and the purpose of these videos is simply to show you what you can uh, expect when you come to a mall in Bogota or in Colombia. As you will see, I was a little bit like on the cover, discreet with my camera because I think that you're not allowed to film in, in these malls in Bogota. Or I think that it, it depends, I don't know, I'm not sure. I was in one mall and the security told me to, to stop filming, I wasn't allowed to film, so I don't know if there's, if, if all the malls are, are prohibited to film or is it is just one mall or that particular mall so keep that in mind and now you will see that most of these stores are closed uh, we checked on uh, Google and we saw that the mall opened at at 8 o'clock but I think that uh, the mall like the open area of the mall is open but the stores itself open at 10 so keep that in mind that stores mostly in in every mall in Bogota they open at 10 o'clock in the morning and they close at around 8 in this mall you will find all types of stores like apparel stores dentists opti centers shoe stores leather stores um, mobile phone stores anything you can think of you can find in this mall that goes for like every mall in Colombia and you also of course have your food court which has all the well-known fast food brands like McDonald's, Burger King and KFC but they also have their own brand like Presto and El Coral so you can find all types of food and uh, stores here in this mall and uh, basically every mall in Colombia I don't usually like to film inside the stores itself because I don't know if it's allowed to film in there but I usually check the prices and I can say that the prices here are very good and also this is in comparison to prices we can get in Curacao because there's a lot of local stores um, of Colombia and their products are way cheaper than uh, 
uh, brands like Adidas, Nikes, etc. Don't get me wrong, there are Colombian stores or brands that do have products that are a little bit on the pricier side, like uh, Vélez, Arturo Calle, FTS, and these products are usually more high-end compared to the other products, the other brands. But all in all, the prices are really good in Colombia, for the most part especially in the downtown area where you can get products at a way more affordable price and if you're enjoying this video thus far and uh, you're getting value out of it please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe subscribe and turn on the notification bell and also follow me on instagram and also my facebook and whatever question you have you can always leave a comment in the comment section down below The Grand Estación Mall is the fifth large mall in Bogota. It was opened in December of 2006 and it is just 15 minutes from the International Airport El Dorado. It is located in the Salitre district in the business area and a residential zone of Estrato 6, the highest in Colombia. There are about 360 stores and services in this mall and you will find the top local and international brands such as Adidas, Arturo Calle, Calvin Klein, Desigual, Nike, Puma, Punto Blanco, and Sony. Besides all the stores, there is also a food court like most if not all the malls in Bogota. Later on, we will also visit the Gran Estación Costado Esfera Mall, which is connected to this mall by a bridge. Keep watching!
and just like that we made it to the end of this video. Please let me know in the comment section down below if you enjoyed this video because we went to different malls here in Bogota and we will have more mall tour videos coming. And also don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell because besides mall tour videos there will be many more videos about Bogota so you really don't want to miss this. Also thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.